I found Bigfoot. But first we're going to get into gatekeepers. But if you notice, oops, Mr. Bigfoot, real straight legs. And remember this guy had a thing. He was just getting into masking. He was saying they were wearing masks. Is that Bigfoot not wearing a mask? I'm going to tell a story about him. He lives in the Blue Mountain area where I would talk about. And look, this guy's seen with him all the time. But before we get into this, first, I don't know. Remember, I was a campfire girl. We did make these things. And <laughs> pretty much like that. Bigfoot and beaver was right there above my head. Because I didn't, these were the Indian ceremonial gowns, but I'm right here. This was in like 19, maybe 68. Okay, that was a campfire office in Walla Walla, Washington. I want to show you gatekeepers. These are all gatekeepers, and I'm not going to read them all, but we're going to read Alice. Alice Mills. Alice in Wonderland. I'm going to hold this over here while I read it. Okay, you can look at the gatekeepers. Look at these guys, man. Okay. Dr. Alice Mills, an associate professor of literature and children's literature at the University of Ballarat, located in Australia, state of Victoria. Now, most of these authors and contributors are from Australia. Why? I don't know. One of the many interest, interesting subjects that she teaches is myth and myth making. She began learning Latin when she was just 11 years old. Then classical Greek when she was 12. Of course she did. And has had lifelong interest in mythical stories and characters that underlie contemporary Western culture. Dr. Mills has published many scholarly articles on the topics of children's literature and fantasy and has edited several authorologies of children's literature, including the Random House of Treasure of Children's Literature, which usually means um, lullabies and things like that, and our stories that you guys were told. I didn't get to hear them. She is also a Wang Jin psych psychotherapist, and she brings Wan's ideas about the human psyche to bear on her understandings of the ancient myths and Greek, Greece and Rome. No, she isn't. She is a god. Alice in Wonderland wasn't just some dingy brat. She was a god. And she came back to be a gatekeeper. Children's literature. What does children's literature have to do with this? Now, Bigfoot. There he is. He's wearing a mask. I'm going to push it up here in the light. Sorry, it's blurry. Okay, I'm holding it still. There he is. Oops. Look at his feet. Look at that beaver dude. He's seen. Now look at... That guy was right. He's wearing a mask. Now look at this one up here. A skinnier Bigfoot. But he's wearing a mask too. And what the heck is this? And waiting for the star to return. This right here. Check this out. See these things. Um, okay. These things are on the Aztec calendar dudes. See those little round things? They're embedded. See those? The exact same? I know. See, this is the Aztec calendar. And this is British Columbia, Canada Indians. This thing right here. Oh, gosh. 
now I want to find the darn thing. Oh, there it is. I'm sorry, I flew that around. There it is. There it is. Now I'm going to flip back. Oh, the tax man. <laughs> Okay, well, anyway. <laughs> da, 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 da. Okay, see? Right there. Any relation to that and these things on these guys' head? See? Now, wait till I have been studying. I just stared at this picture. Wait till you get a load of this guy. Oh my God. That's my picture. This is Aztec writing right here. I was going to look it up. Haven't had a chance. Oh my God. And as I didn't notice, there's extra people in here. There's extra people in here, but there's no heads connected to them. Another video.